the map. Yeah. And uh, let me put up here. All right. So currently introducing the uh, player top right of the map. He has the red shorts. He's ready to go. He needs to win this map to be up 1-1 against an opponent. He is currently below by one point. It is Acer Nurcio. And his opponent and fellow countryman from Poland. It is the one and only Dignitas Tafel. So for you guys who missed the last game, you missed something really cool. It was a huge, a couple of really, really good engagement by both players with a mix of Hydras, Roaches, and uh, Infestors. Uh, really interesting start, really interesting mid-game, and I'm hoping we see one of these games once again. And um, Nurcio apparently likes to play his game more uh, more dynamically. I think he has some kind of a coming out about camping, but uh, yeah. hey. It's it's a strategy. And if it works, why would you ever change it? Of course, especially when money and gear is on the line. The winner of this game, I believe, is guaranteed at least a 75 euro pride. Prize. Yeah, pride. I think so. I would have pride if I won 75 euros too. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, true. The winner goes up in directly into the uh, the grind finals and will face off against either let's see we have four players here i don't know how the how the other stream is going but it's uh i'm guessing it's johnny rico and is it bly and it or did patience win um, oh it's either johnny rico and i'm sure patience or bly it's one of those yep no no he's actually sure we see the extractor has finished up for Tafel. He's going to be able to get a much faster gas than Nurcio. About well, 30 seconds faster. That's how long it takes an extractor to build. Yep, indeed. And um, currently, uh, Tafel is actually playing in the dark right now. He doesn't know where uh, Nurcio is. Uh, whereas, if you look at Nurcio, at uh, Tafel, he will. Uh, it will probably see exactly where a uh, nurture is in a few seconds when that uh, overlord discovers. Yep, he sees it right now, so you know it's exactly where his opponent is. Yeah, I think the overlord's actually crossed, so it looked like he sent the overlord uh, a little bit early. So he was able to see slightly earlier, but now the queen is ready for Tapful to inject this hatchery. That is her only job for a while. Yes, yes. All right. Um. Uh, some of us are coming up but we also must hit the real still while casting I don't know if that's ironic but thanks I guess <laughs> it's because of our pictures oh oh yeah that's that's what oh oh man such a silly joke all right people want webcams man <laughs> they only want me for my body they only want the picture oh my Come god on. some of it's just your face yeah, true. Well, next time, I'll promise. I get my cam set up, so... Um, <laughs> I usually do streaming and stuff, so I usually have a cam there, but... <coughs> it's unplugged right now. Alright, the Bainings Nest is going up here in uh, Team Nurcio's base, uh, whereas home back in uh, Tefl's base, there is no Bainings. So it's very similar to last time. It was sort of a very late Bainings Nest here by uh, Tefl, and uh, we'll see if uh, Nurcio can exploit that. Uh, yeah. A lot of Zerglings are coming out right now from Tefo. Yeah, Tefo is wow. building a lot of links, and he now has the gas to produce a Baneling Nest, so he may he may actually be the aggressor with a uh, Link Baneling Force here. Nuchio has responded by walling off with Queens and is going to make a bunch of Links himself. So we do see the Baneling Nest on the way. The Links are just going to go right after these Queens. They're going to try to power through this wall, which of course will take a while because Queens have a lot of health. The drones are actually going to help out, so he's going to lose a lot of these drones here. Yeah, what an intense war. Uh, more Zerg is actually streaming into the base here from Nurcio. There's so many uh, units. It's uh, 10 against 20 Zerglings, but these Banelings that uh, Nurcio actually built are paying up really, really good. 7 versus 16 right now. Wow. Good defense and hold here by uh, uh, Nurcio. Six workers have been killed in this game. Nurcio is still up by three workers, but of course this aggression has not ended quite yet. Well, it looks like Nurcio does have enough wings that with 
good micro, he could, can potentially hold this, yeah. Well now, more Banley reinforcements are coming in for Tefl. So we will see. He is going to keep this aggression coming for now. Yep. Both players are getting more links and more banelings. Five banelings in production right now from Tefal. He's He will try and go directly for the mineral line to do some damage. The problem is that there isn't enough drone there to do that amount. Ooh, can he get a good hit here? Going directly for the huge pile of zerglings here. Just, oh, kiting there. Good. Gets a queen. Not really worth it. And more baneling hits goes off. More Baneling hits, but they don't actually kill anything, at least none of the drones. Seven workers now have now been killed. And there are a lot of lo drones on low HP, but if Nurture is able to protect them, he's going to be in a safe position. But as we say that, a lot of Zerglings are coming in. They're going to uh, die to a bunch of Baneling Oh wow, really good Baneling hit there by Nurture. It almost cleans up everything in the... Uh this assault by Tefl and Tefl he doesn't really give up he's producing more and more links it's uh, gonna be a real question of who can actually do enough damage and they're all so low all of these drones one more Baneling hits this clump then all of a sudden their Tio is going to fall so far behind but no Banelings are here quite yet for Tefl he's making a few more now this is gonna be this is on the razor's edge right now Yes, indeed. Both players are just pushing against each other. It looks like Nurture actually counterattacks a bit, but finds out there's actually more Zerglings streaming out. Banelings are now down ho home at Nurture's base, and uh, it's looking like it's going to be a Bane versus Bane. Well, who can get the best exchange here? More heading into the base, going directly for the drone line. Oh man, it actually picks up two of them and gets a good Baneling hit there on the drones. Yes, 14 workers have now been killed. Nurture, however, is still up by 10 workers, so Tefl still needs to make more happen. The Lynx are going to get a full surround on that Queen, actually going to keep it alive, unfortunately, getting pulled back a little bit too early. But this is so interesting. Both players are exactly tied in unit losts. It is so, so even, this battle. Wow. Yeah, but Nurture has had the greater drone count for quite some time now, so he's, he's just getting more... Oh! A wow. great detonation there. Just stuff exploding everywhere. More and more Zerglings just camping outside the base here. And 24 more links in production here for Nurcio. He is not gonna go down right now. He's gonna counterattack, but there's so many Zerglings streaming in. The drones are going into the battle right now. They're so damaged. And one by one, they slowly fall to. Wow, there's so many Zerglings. They're everywhere. It's almost like a Zerg. <laughs> it's almost like we're watching Zerg vs. Zerg. Yeah, and yes it is. So Nurcio is now only up by three drones. He has lost a total of 24 workers in this game. He needs to hold, find a way to hold this aggression. I I think actually he he has. There's uh, as you said. There's uh, well, hmm. Nurcio has more bane links, but has fewer links. So I assume that's okay. He does a really bad exchange there by exchanging ooh two ooh. two bane links against three, but. Oh, the opposite, sorry. More of the Banelings actually moving in here. And, oh, so I'm going to caught off guard oh, outside oh. when the morph is really good here for uh, uh, Nurcio. And it looks like uh, slowly Tefl is being forced back. Yeah, but Tefl is able to pick off one of those Banelings. Now, all of a sudden, right now, Nurcio doesn't have any Banelings on the field, so these links are going to be able to run in yet again. The single yeah, queen but is going actually to help a, out a lot. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, she's actually uh, a bit damaged, but I don't think, yep, it's going to be enough when that lost Baneling actually comes in and finishes it off. And uh, another queen is actually joining the fray, so there's two queens down at the bottom where there is actually links up in, in the main base. Both players are only producing oh, oh. links right now. This Baneling is going to get such so much damage done to these drones, but it's not able to kill any of them. Links are going to need to get into the main base to finish those off. And if Tefl is able to do that, he's going to get a significant advantage. Feels like uh, Nurture needs to do a small run by or something because he's being really, really pushed back to the ropes here. Um, counting the units, it's 20 drones against 21. Sterlings are 9 against 19, but there's 6 Banelings morphing in for both players. It's interesting because Nurcio keeps squeezing out drones, but Tepl has been making units this entire time. Now more Banelings are going to go off. 
This, these three banelings could die to one baneling, but no, Gatrons go pretty well. Is he actually going to explode on those eggs and just deny those banelings for now? Unfortunately, what I learned recently is you do get most of those resources back if your baneling cocoons do die. Yep, so that one's really good, but it actually uh, gives a bit of a breathing space here for Nurture, where he will be able to... Uh, he's actually building more drones. So he's uh, slowly gaining ground and getting back the uh, a slight economical lead. More banelings are coming in here, the queens are great at picking them up. Uh, both players are really, really low in economy, and still, the uh, the resources loss is actually now in in favor for Tefl. It's actually killed uh, more than a thousand more... Uh, Units worth, so it's uh, looking really, really in favor right now for Tefl's teeth. Continue oh, to push man. everything back. 40 total workers have killed in this game, and they just continue to die. And Nurcio holds off yet another wave. But Tefl is just going to keep making zerglings. He hasn't made a single drone since like the five minute mark. We're at 15 minutes here. Wow, this this must be so annoying for both players. None of them is really letting go, they're just going at each other. <laughs> yeah, Tefl has he has that Zergling count advantage, so he's just gonna keep this pressure coming, although a lot of Banelings of Nurtio are gonna chase most of these away. The Banelings of Tefl do catch up. Wow, and look at this, it's actually a counterattack coming in from Nurtio, going directly for the expansion here. No, they're actually heading directly into the main. They might be able to do some damage and going for the Baneling Nest. Nope. They're going for the uh, Queen, actually. And it's really good. If you can stop the queens and get a good injects, you actually go also directly for the drones. At the same time, back in uh, Nurtio's base, the uh, Zerg is actually cleaning up everything there and going to go but directly for the main base. It is now a tiny base trade, whereas... Oh, sorry, everything has been cleaned up here by uh, Tefl in the base, so... Wow. What a game! 53 workers so have been killed. It's absolutely insane. The worker count is essentially even. Somehow these players have equalized yet again. They're just absolutely equal in skill, both of these players. Yep. They are... Wow, so many Banelings are now morphing <laughs> in from Nurtia. He has had enough. He said, not today! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Actually, he's trying to... Ba oh, wow, good detonations here. Uh, both players are just trading Banelings against Banelings. Yeah, any even Baneling trades are probably going to help Nurtio here as he has the greater count of those. But this yeah, base but is so a low. A few more hits on the hatchery will go down and that will be the GG oh! and there it goes! Wow! Man, Tefl just pushes this home. And right now <laughs> it's going to be a two base Zerg versus a one base Zerg. And now finally Tefl is starting to drone up behind us. And Nurtio doesn't give up. He's building another hatchery. Man. Wow, what a game! This player has been stuck on links and bane links now for uh, about 15 minutes. <laughs> and more and more are just coming in there. Uh, I wonder what happened to the spine that actually was in uh, Nurture's base. Uh, I probably got taken out really, really quickly. Yep. The units are actually streaming in. It's all the units. So many units dying in this match. 56 total workers now been killed by Tuffle, and units are gonna get into the main base yet again. And Nurcio can't really put on any counter pressure because he needs to defend from Nurcio's aggression. I mean, from Tuffle's aggression. Yep, and uh, there is the GG. It was the, actually the loss of the base that decided the whole game. Well, Nurcio was against the rope the whole